हेलो एंड वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री मास्टर्स सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग यू द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन विच आर वन ऑफ द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ पेरिसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन अपार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस दैट वट इज द स्टीजियो केमिस्ट्री इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन एंड इट्स रिवर्सिबल रिएक्शन as well as we will also discuss that how does the ring closing reaction and ring opening reaction happens in electrocyclic reactions let us watch that so before undergoing the complete concept of electrocyclic reaction here we should be having the knowledge of basic concept of electrocyclic reaction so we already have discussed in our introductory lecture that electrocyclic reaction are a specific type of pericyclic reaction which are concerted in nature and in them generally what happen there is presence of a conjugate polyene species which get convert into a cycloalkene molecule and there could be a vice versa reaction or you can say the conversion of cycloalkene back to a conjugate polyene can also happen one example has been shown here so this is a conjugate polyene structure you can see this is 1,3 butadiene where the two double bond or two ene structure they are in conjugation so between first and second carbon there is a double bond similarly between third and fourth carbon there is a double bond and you can see double bond single bond double bond type of arrangement is there that's why it is a conjugate polyene so what happened this conjugate polyene in presence of heat or maybe in presence of light will be undergoing a concerted reaction means a simultaneous bond breakage as well as a simultaneous bond formation will be there and there would be formation of a cyclic product which is a cycloalkene so here what happened this bond will break in a certain way and always the bond which is breaking it will be in a cyclic manner if the bond are breaking clockwise all the bond will break clockwise and if the bond is getting break anti clockwise in that condition all the bond will get breaked or they will get lysis in anti clockwise fashion so here we have shown that if this bond is breaking inside similarly what will happen this bond will break on this side so that a cyclic type of structure or cyclic product will be obtained to us in this form and what will happen the position of the double bond will change and there will be formation of a new sigma bond the another thing which is very much important here is that we already have discussed in the second point that electrocyclic reaction can go in reverse direction also and this is very much important for all type of electrocyclic reactions that they all can go in reverse direction means here in the above example the polyene can get converted into a cyclic structure and this cyclic structure can be changed into this polyene structure again and again in presence of heat or maybe in presence of light and this is very much important component out here in electrocyclic reaction that in case of forward direction reaction where a open chain reaction is getting converted into a cyclic structure there will be always loss of one pi bond and there will be gain of one sigma bond in case of forward direction reaction or you can say in case of conversion of a non cyclic structure into a cyclic one so here you can see there are two pi bonds and there are overall three sigma bond while well, if you talk about this one there is only one pi bond and there is presence of four sigma bond so sigma bond increased by one and pi bond decreased by one in forward direction reaction and its opposite happens in reverse direction reaction in that what will happen the pi bond will increase by one and the sigma bond will decrease by one so this was the basic concept of electrocyclic reaction now the next thing which we will be discussing here is the categories of electrocyclic reaction so generally the electrocyclic reaction can be of two type ring opening reaction 
as well as a ring closing reaction which we have seen in the earlier example where we have taken the example of 1 comma 3 butadiene so here we will take two more example the first example is of 1 comma 3 comma 5 hexatriene molecule so here in this molecule again we will show that how does the ring opening and ring closing can take place okay so firstly we will be taking the example of ring closing reaction so in this example if the bond are broken in such a way in a cyclic manner we will see that the pi bond are breaking and the new sigma bonds will be formed out there so what will happen these bond will break in a certain way so that the number of pi bond which are three here in the product it will decrease by one and the number of sigma bond which are five out here they will increase by 1. So you can see here the number of sigma bond they are 6 now and the number of pi bond they remain only 2. So this is a ring closing reaction in forward direction or you can say in our right hand side while the same reaction can go in opposite direction also. So if I break the bond like this for the opposite direction what will happen again this cyclic structure get changed into non-cyclic structure or you can say in polyene form apart from this some of the electrocyclic reaction in them there could be presence of a charge or maybe a radical along with the double bond or along with the ene structure so here it is so we have taken the example of allyl anion here in place of negative charge there could be a positive charge or there could be a radical also which will be generating the conjugation in this molecule so you can see that double bond single bond charge is there so this is a type of conjugation so this type of structure can also give you ring closing reaction as well as ring opening reaction so what will happen if i break this bond in certain manner in this fashion that the bond breaks towards inside so that the middle carbon will be getting a negative charge and the terminal carbon will be getting a plus charge the lower terminal carbon which is getting a plus charge and the upper terminal carbon which already is having a negative charge that will make a bond or a sigma bond between them and the middle carbon will be having a negative charge like this so you can see that you are having a electrocyclic reaction in the forward direction and again what can happen there could be a reverse reaction where again this sigma bond can get break like this for example or maybe it can break on this side also so you can break it on either side so where any of the side the bond is getting break that carbon will be getting a negative charge and the another carbon will be getting a plus charge for example if the bond is breaking towards upside so this carbon at the top will be getting a negative charge and the lower carbon will be getting a plus charge so again there will be formation of this double bond and you can say the product will be giving you the reactant again or the reaction will be going in the reverse direction so this is how in the electrocyclic reaction the ring closing as well as ring opening reaction both can happen and they both can happen in presence of heat or maybe in presence of light also now the next very much important concept in electrocyclic reaction is the stereochemistry of the ring opening reaction and ring closing electrocyclic reactions so here we will discuss that how does the ring will open or it will get closed and what will be the orientation of the orbitals in these molecules which get open or which get closed so if you talk about the stereochemistry of these electrocyclic reaction they are generally of two type cone rotatory motion or disc rotatory motion which simply are also called as cone rotation and disc rotation so here we will discuss that what is cone rotation how does the cone rotation is taken on and then we will discuss that what is this rotation and what is the arrangement of the orbital in that let us take the general example 
of any molecule it could be any allyl system it could be any other polyene system so here we are talking about the only the two terminal orbitals which will be present there so there could be two ways in which the terminal orbital can be present there could be a mirror symmetry in that or maybe there could be a c2 symmetry in the molecule so in both of the cases we will see that how does the molecular orbital will be arranged whenever there is cone rotation or disc rotation in the molecule so let us talk about the cone rotation first and then we will take the example of disc rotation so cone rotation means movement in same direction so we can take the example so same type of movement could be like this if both of the orbitals which has been shown or both of the terminal orbital which has been shown here if they are rotating or if they are moving in same direction that is known as cone rotatory motion or cone rotation so here both of them are being rotated towards my right hand side so in that case what will happen the red lobe which has been shown here or you can call it as the positive lobe and this negative lobe and here also this can be called as a positive lobe and this as a negative lobe so whenever the cone rotation will be there and both of these orbitals are rotating on my right hand side in that case will what will happen this positive lobe will go in inwards and this positive lobe in the second orbital will go outwards like this so you can see so this has gone towards the inner side and this orbital has gone outside while the negative lobe goes outside here and here the negative lobe goes inside so this is cone rotation when both of the orbital are being moved on the same direction similarly it can also happen that they can move in this direction also so means both of them are rotating towards the left side so what will happen this positive lobe will go outside while this positive lobe will get inside likewise as we have shown here so the positive lobe comes outside here this positive lobe comes towards inside so this is cone rotation whenever the species or the terminal orbitals or the molecular orbital is having mirror symmetry now if there is c2 symmetry what will happen so let us see that how does the cone rotation will arrange the two orbitals so if they are being moved in a right direction like this so again it is a cone rotation both of the orbitals are moving in the same direction so this positive lobe will go inside and here this positive lobe will come inside so that you will be getting this type of arrangement both of the positive lobe are facing towards each other or you can see that they are overlapping or same type of overlapping is present there another thing which can happen here is that both of the lobes are moving towards my left hand side that is again cone rotation cone means towards same side so these both are getting rotated on the same side so what will happen this positive lobe will go outside while this positive lobe will go in outer direction like this so you can see this positive lobe is outside this positive lobe is also outside while the negative lobes they will come inside you can see here it will go inside and it will go inside so that these two negative lobes are facing towards each other or you can say they are overlapping each other so this is again the cone rotation in case of c2 symmetry now if we talk about disc rotation disc rotation means what will happen the two orbitals which are shown here they will be moving in opposite direction to each other so if one of them is moving towards the right side the another one will move towards the left side so what will happen here in this case where there is mirror symmetry the two positive lobe which are shown here they are on the same side 
one which is on our left hand side in that the positive lobe will go inside here also the one which is on our right hand side that will go inwards again so that the arrangement will be like this the both of the positive lobes they will interact with each other or they will overlap with each other similarly it can also happen that these two lobes which has been shown here they will be moving in opposite direction again so here it is moving towards right side and this is moving towards left side so in that case what will happen this positive lobe will go outside in the outer direction here this positive lobe will go towards the outer direction so that these two negative lobes they will be coming inwards so here you can also see that it is moving right side it is moving left side so again a this type of rotation is there so that you will be getting the two negative lobe facing toward each other so that the interaction or the overlapping will be maximum now if we take the example of c2 symmetry and if you talk about the this rotation in that that means both are moving in opposite direction to each other so this is moving towards right side this is moving towards left side so this positive lobe which is shown here it will go inside and here what will happen the negative lobe which is shown it will go inside so that two opposite type of lobes are interacting with each other so that the anti bonding type of overlapping will be there and this type of overlapping will be generating less stability while one more type of dissociation can be observed in which one of them is moving toward left side like this another one is moving toward the right side so again you can see that both are moving in two different direction so in that case what will happen the positive lobe here will go outside and here what will happen the negative lobe will go outside and this positive lobe will come inwards so that the negative lobe and positive lobe again will be interacting with each other again an anti bonding type of interaction will be there and hence the minimum stability will be there so here we have understand that how does the stereochemistry of ring opening reaction and ring closing reaction would be affected by the type of rotation present in the molecule